this is a fantastic success story. These three companies are just three I pulled out, who have set up an office in Silicon Valley, and they're doing very well. I could have picked out hundreds of these companies. I'm sorry if your company is not listed and you wish it was there. This is a fantastic success story. You're good at it. Uh, the, the, you have the innovation. You have uh, the digital capability. You have vast networks. You are close to countries like Finland, which have uh, transformed our world's communication systems. You are on the edge of a fantastic opportunity. And of course, you know how these things are being welded together so that the, what is a, the retail shopping experience becomes a virtual shopping experience, becomes an online delivery experience. Uh, this is uh, the wall of the metro uh, in, in Japan. And the person is just walking along the retail outlet and just ordering whichever food he wants by just flashing his phone at the wall. You know these things. Every one of these things is an opportunity. We heard about PayPal just now. Look at the growth of PayPal from 2008, nothing, to 2011. It was 50 million here, 4.5 billion there. Where would you think it will be in 10 years' time? Mobile payments is absolutely huge. Look at Kenya. Very poor Kenyans are using their phones to, to move money around. 15 million people moved $9 billion last year even though most of them had an income of less than $10 a month. This is a revolution. It's massive. Any one of these things it opens up hundreds, tens of thousands of opportunities for people in this room to do startups which can, can, at the speed of light, deliver quality and value to some other company right the other side of the world. Uh, here's another example. 200 million mobile payments made last year are um, worth more than $160 billion. Now, uh, where can we go with this stuff? I want to um, uh, suggest to you uh, I want, uh, that we look at the Vodafone, MasterCard and Sprint partnership. It's just one example of many we will see. Uh, I've called it the Venusel partnership. That's my own name for it. Let's have a look at what such partnerships could do. Uh, in the UK, credit cards transactions are worth 650 billion a year. Credit card debt is worth 65 billion. The average credit card interest rate is 16%. The 2% commissions are worth 14 billion dollars a year. What if we could capture all those on a smartphone device? Could we do that? Yes, we can. You see, I lecture to many of the largest banks in the world, and I talk with them about becoming telcos. I lecture to many of the largest telcos in the world, and I talk to them about becoming banks. <laughs> and uh, I ask them the same questions and show them this slide. Here's another interesting one. You heard about Moore's Law yet again. You know that the costs of providing technology are falling towards zero. You can see that the costs of capturing value from transactions is rising dramatically. So at what point would the commissions from all these transactions pay for all the data and all the devices? Could we imagine a world where, let's say, uh, looking at the uh, technology that Endrick has here, who, by the way, has organized this incredible event today. And Endrick has, uh, uh, because he's a, he's a multitasker, so he, he has an earpiece in his ears, which is probably in constant communication with every camera, all the technology people around and knowing him, God Almighty as well. He's writing an article which is streaming. He is tweeting from here, no doubt. I'm certain he's posting LinkedIn video clips. He has two PCs open. Uh, he has a mobile phone, a digital camera, and a whole load of other technology here. Now, just imagine this. Imagine a world where a bank could go to someone like Andrik or a telco, uh, or a bank and telco combined, and say, Andrik, we have a special arrangement with you. Can you give me your wallet, please? Andrik didn't know I was going to ask you to do this. Don't worry, don't worry, don't do it, don't do it. I can see you're sitting on too much technology. Okay, so Andrik gives me his wallet. And I say, Andrik, if you are willing to keep just one card, one card only for emergencies, and to throw the rest away, I will do a special arrangement with you. I will replace the technologies which you own, all of them, every 12 months for free. I will give you unlimited mobile bandwidth for free. I will give you a second set of everything for your partner at home or your children for free.
I will give you access to all the best movies that Hollywood can make, which you can watch on any device, wireless or broadband at home, for free. I, I, actually, I will give you more or less anything you want for free that's digital, that's part of communications. Okay? And Andrik says, yes, but uh, what's, what's the cost, the, the catch? I say, yeah, well, I explained to you. You have one card left only, just for emergencies. You can spend up to 1,000 euros a month, but no more than 8,000 euros in a year. But everything else goes through the phone. You say, well, how does that happen? So you just put your thumb on the biometrics device so it knows that it's you, biometric recognition. And then you get the SMS from the retailer. And then you just press your PIN number, and it does it. And uh, the new European legislation passed in 2015 allows us to have a single transaction which is worth up to 100,000 euros, which is enough to buy a boat or maybe a small apartment or a small house somewhere. Okay. Put your hands up. Do you think that could happen in the next 10 years? Put your hands up if you think that could happen in the next 10 years. I'll tell you, most banks I speak to think the same. Uh, most telcos think the same. Someone is going to do it. Well, I've just shown you some people who are trying. Our world is changing because, can you imagine that? It would be the end of all contracts. It would be the end of selling mobile phones. What a last century idea. You just go to the mobile phone company, sign and you walk out. And they replace it automatically. It would be a completely different relationship with banks than you've ever had in the past.